Ryan DVD Collector 23 here with my Monday Night Raw review. Um, so yeah, we had got off on Monday Night Raw, like it always is. Um, what's the shock there? I was hoping they were going to do some stuff. This is a Monday Night Raw review. Not much to say, but let's get right into it. have my um, iPad here. So, here we go with a, um, we had this god awful promo. Seth and Kofi come out. Still throw the damn pancakes. You want to be a serious... You said you want... I want to be a serious champion. A serious champion is not throwing damn pancakes everywhere. Okay? It's not. It's not going to cut it. So, here, here's this. Listen to this promo. What? Just ziplining with little John? Basically every... Listen to this, guys. Gonna get copyrighted probably. I don't give a shit, man. It's... That means you watch my videos. You know. Look, I know I'm not Brock Lesnar. I'm better. I'm better. Seth Rollins. All Brock Lesnar does is what Brock Lesnar wants to do. The damn boom box. Yes. Yes, I know. Um, yeah, we are supposed to be afraid. Not afraid. What the hell am I saying? You know when that, that was um a prestigious thing? The contract when he doesn't cash it in? It doesn't mean shit. It really doesn't. A brawl. Xavier and Dolph Ziggler. Who cares? I don't. Dolph Ziggler demands Kofi. Demands Kofi. She's staying in a rainforest treehouse? That's my dream. Oh, that's good, man. You know, Kofi, I thought I knew you. I thought I did. But you've been wasting all your time. On Brock Lesnar cashing in his money in the bank contract. When you should Dolph Ziggler's got a lot of lot. He's, he's got a lot of girl hair. Since he was like a woman. Celebrated before Kofi for the next eleven days. And this man is underutilized. I love Dolph Ziggler. The world what you accomplished as WWE champion because you were the best. I hate that he said that because he is the worst. He's worse than Jinder Mahal, okay? So, that's bullshit. But every time I see that WWE title and you, Kofi, mm -hmm. it reminds me that it should have been. 
been me. It should have been me. It should have been me. My God, that's all he's done. I didn't even watch that. So, yeah, blah blah. Shane, Shane McMahon goes over the history of Roman Reigns. Do you care? I don't. Drew McIntyre's a damn bodyguard now, so, um, yes, he is the, could be the damn future of your company, but, you know, he's gonna be the sidekick to Shane McMahon now. We thought he was gonna be main eventing and kicking Brock Lesnar with a damn Claymore kick and kicking his ass at Mania. Well, my God, was I wrong, my God. Sorry, technical difficulties, WWE's computer. Yeah, it's computer. Shane, blah, Shane versus this guy. Blah, that Corbin attacks AJ Styles. It's all your basic crap. They don't care about AEW. This Vince McMahon's company is going to go down to hell. It's an... God. Corbin attacks and injures AJ Styles with the forearm. I don't. So that takes him out of the match. It's not playing the video. I don't care. Brock does another thing. Who cares? Becky and Nikki Cross are the iconics. Who the hell cares? The women's tag team division that you made so prominent. No one gives a shit, so. Ricochet and Cesaro, which was a good, um, everyone loves that match. It was a good match, um, because those two guys are great wrestlers. Revival comes to the Usos block party. I'll try to play this with the ad. I'll pause this, the ad. Get a better picture. Well, we got Titus World Catering with a literally, I'm not gonna show it because I'll get copyrighted. With a damn apron, because that's what the 24 7 title is. There's a huge party going on outside the arena here in Kansas. The Usos are hugging me. They're, 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 hey, they're going, yeah, what's up, let's say Dorado, yeah, yeah. Look who, you're a Jabba. Oh, Lucha, Lucha, Lucha! Who the hell cares? Who? Outside the arena here in Kansas City. Who gives a shit? I don't. Glitched. It glitched. It hates Monday Night Raw. There you go. Cesaro promo after losing. I didn't watch this, so yeah, we can watch this together. Interview should be coming up. Oh my god, I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know what's happening. Come on. This damn thing is a virus because of. Uh, Cesaro, here we go. last week after your victory over Ricochet, you were a man of very few words. Now, a week later, Ricochet defeats you. Do you have. Any more words to describe that defeat? Next question. Okay. Okay. 
So do you still think... That was it, okay. Glitching, um, Becky promo. Uh-oh, looks like someone's still nervous about buying a new house. Isn't that obvious? Now maybe you'd worry less if you got Geico to help with your homeowner's insurance. Becky Lynch, congratulations on your victory now. Did you have any trepidations teaming up with someone as unpredictable as Nikki Cross? Um, look, there's always, uh, trepidations as you... So, um, articulately put, put it, um, look, my history has taught me that, uh, that everybody's unpredictable. It doesn't matter how close you think they are as a friend. It doesn't matter, uh, the, the, the years you've spent traveling with them and, uh, sharing stories and secrets and, and, and promises. See, none of that matters. None of that matters in this business. The only thing that matters in this business is this. Right, and I know that everybody is gunning for me, and everybody's gunning for those iconics too that I just smashed right there. Uh, Buffering. And, uh, so I, I, I have eyes on the back of my head at all times, but lucky for me, uh, I've been blindsided so many times at this stage and come out on top that I know nothing's going to stop me, and I'll always come out on top at the end. Um, I have to ask, last time we were here in Kansas City, you were actually invading Monday Night Raw, and you were pretty severely injured at the hands of Nia Jax, and that injury forced you to sit out a Survivor Series. So what kind of emotions are you feeling now being back here, especially considering how far you have come since then? Yeah, this really was the birthplace of the man. Uh, so it, it feels electric to be back in this building. And uh, just the memories that I have of, 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 of sitting in that trainer's room, not knowing where I was, not knowing what had happened, but uh, but that led me to make a history and becoming the main event of WrestleMania and the first ever female double champ. Terrible double match. Champ, Becky Two Belts. And I've got my sights set on being Becky Two Belts again. Right, thanks, Becky. Love well, Becky Lynch still, even though she's not doing so good. Have to match Ricochet. Cuts a promo. Ricochet enjoys shutting up Cesaro. Shutting up, shut, shutting Cesaro up. So this video's going wrong. And promo. Um. You had that. We'll just go with that. Um. You had our truth defense the title and it says barbecue twenty four seven. The jobber squad. Writing's not that easy, but grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct. I'm surprised he still had the damn title. Here we go. Revival or food in with them. They're all revi the revival and the Usos are having a fight in Cornhole. This damn idiot. You have the damn jobber squad. Yeah, you literally have the damn jobbers and catering. You have Titus World catering. You have R True saying, Hey, R Truth isn't here. Don't tell anybody. You got a whole damn roster looking after you, you idiot. My God. EC3 is in there. Eric Young. The first, oh yeah, the first ever champ. Now he lost. Who cares? Who ca Do you care? Do you care? No. Nobody cares. <laughs> One of the worst Fatal 4 webs I've ever seen in my damn life. Bobby Trashley Lashley Braun Strowman. The Miz and Baron Corbin. <laughs> The four are terrible wrestlers. Miz is terrible as a babyface. I don't give a shit about this match.
it was obvious Baron Corbin was going to win. And he's going on now to face Seth Rollins at Super Showdown. Super Showdown. And I don't care. I don't care. Why everyone... Oh, Baron Corbin could have probably even see this. Why everyone should be one... Should, I don't even know why everyone should want to be Baron Corman. I wonder why this is. Corman, first off, congratulations on your victory here for you tonight. I just want to get. I don't want to hear your stupid questions. Hey, look, I don't want to hear you talk. So shut the hell up. My God. Yeah, Firefly Funhouse is great. Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins main event. Um, but here's Electric Chair. What? She's ziplining with Little John. It's Little John. Even he knows that. Thanks, Kevin. Each and every week, our superstars face challenges inside the ring. Challenge. I want to woo. That guy to look like a damn fool. All right. Listen to this. The, li listen. This is full cringe. I don't know what the hell this segment was. This was. Let me pause this. Excuse me, oh, sir. Wait, Do you have a question go. for Sammy Zane? First off, what's your name? Mike. What's your question? How does Listen. How does it feel when Braun Strowman destroys you? Woo! No! What you'd rather do than answer that question is get out of this chair. I don't know where the hell they find Talk these people. Talk about toxic culture, right? So if they keep the AEW comment on here. You know, this is really disappointing. You, you could have asked. What's your question for Sammy? He butchers oh, this. Okay. He I'm butchers not this. Face like I might do to that idiot over there. Why have you not won the Most... Universal Champion yet? Ever since you've been back. Why haven't you won the Universal Champion yet? What the hell is that? Did you fail the first grade, sir? Why haven't you won the Universal Champion? Why haven't you won the Universal Champion yet? First of all. Why haven't you won the Universal Championship? Not how, how have you won, not won the Universal, uh, whatever. Anything, you're asking about these dumb questions about the Universal title. I could win the Universal title anytime I want. I'm not that interested right now. I'd much rather hold all of you accountable for your crap. That didn't take long. There you go. That's your show in a nutshell. That's all it was. Roman being the Samoan badass. Because his cousin got beat up. Here comes Roman. Oh my god. That's almost Superman punch. Same old shit. Ooh ah. Ooh ah. Ooh ah. The big dog. My god. Raw sucked. Smackdown is going to suck. NXT and AEW. My God, when AEW comes, there will be no WWE in my life except for NXT. <laughs> so that was it. Um, and they completely just cut out the learning set AEW. And I have that on video. So take that WWE. Eat it, yeah. You're not done with that. I got three words for you. Bank on it. Thank you guys for your support. Um, on my Instagram, you, um, I've gotten so many requests to be on Finno Now's YouTube channel, Finno Now, you hear, you hear the truth, I've gotten two people that don't want me there, I'm coming soon, you'll see me there, thank you guys so much for watching.